Good day, lovely souls. Steph Robertson here. Thank you for tuning into the space and bringing your magical energy. It is uh, just after uh, midnight, 12 a.m. on October 28th, uh, Saturday. It is uh, the lunar eclipse day, a full moon in Taurus, uh, blood moon. Um, okay, so I've been guided by Spirit today to pick a card from a couple of decks. So, uh, Return of Spirit uh, by Cheryl Lee Harnish. So, uh, what is returning to our spirits around this time of this Taurus full moon and the lunar eclipse? And then a Dragon Magic card. Um, this is a deck by Lewin Cavendish. Um, so what messages uh, the dragons have to share with us around this uh, full moon, Taurus full moon and lunar eclipse? Um, I did actually today when I was driving um, and the moon was just had just come up into the sky, there was this amazing kind of black cloud that looked like the shape of a dragon and, and I was really called to use this deck. So I'm going to cleanse the cards, Lord God, Creator, Mother Earth, Gaia, Universe, Spirit, Divine Team, please bless these cards with truth, honesty, and clarity. Okay. All right. So let's pick our Dragon Magic card first. Yeah, as I said, I saw this beautiful black dragon in the sky today. Thank you so much for that blessing. Angels and guides, healing team, dragon spirits. What message would you like to share with the collective today? So this is a message for the collective. So anyone it resonates with, not any particular sign. Okay, that one flew out, so we're going to take that one. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. And you can, set this, can accept this energy at any time, okay? It says, dragon connections. Dragons know loyalty when we connect. It is deep and enduring. Whether you desire a friend, lover, or partner for life, use this energy to create true companionship in your precious life. Okay, so it looks like there could be some kind of a connection coming in if you wish for one to come in. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, a love relationship. As the card says, it can be a friendship. It could be a business partnership, but it could also be um, a love interest. So that's um, uh, very magical uh, energy. Okay, and now we are going to um, pick a return of spirit card and see what is returning to our spirits at this time. Angels, guides, spirit healing team, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for your unconditional love, support, wisdom, and guidance always. If we could have a return of spirit card for the collective today, what message do you have for the collective? What would you like us to know? What would you like to share with us? What magical energy can we utilize at this time for our greatest good and the greatest good of all? Okay. So we get contact. Contact. Okay. Which is interesting also because this talks about a connection and this is contact. So we're going to read that card. If we can find it here. Contact. Okay. Life's great synchronicities and the alignment of fateful events is very dependent on our contact and connections with other people. You have drawn this card today because it is important for you to make contact with someone in particular in your life. This one-on-one -on -one communication could be by phone, email, text, message, or in person. In whatever way that can, um, contact happens, it is important that you reach out. Sometimes we resist or procrastinate doing the very things that will help to move us along on our path. The contact card is asking you, asking that you look at whatever resistance you may have and gently push yourself forward to do what needs to be done. Perhaps you need to contact someone and deal with an emotional issue you would rather avoid. Maybe you have neglected speaking with a family member, loved one, or friend. Do you need to get past your fear of making a business call? Spirit is asking that you be brave and make contact with a certain individual. The stagnant energy that is being held through your resistant needs, uh, resistance needs to be released and cleared. This will help to aid in the flow of new energy, healing, empowerment, and manifestation. 
manifestation in your life. Energetically, you will be free to set up and align the next step of your journey. Okay, so all kind of the energies that happen around the full moon, full moon time, um, you know, clearing and cleansing, coming to an end and making room for the new. Um, and it's just uh, very interesting, again, as I said, that how these um, cards are actually very connected. It says, this card can also indicate that there is a very important person coming along in your life with whom you are about to connect. Be present within yourself when meeting anyone new over the next week or two. Be mindful of the energy surrounding anyone you connect with, especially if it is unexpected or synchronistic, as this person could play an important role in your future. Okay, so very awesome. So definitely confirmation there with these two cards that are very similar, talking about contact and connections, um, making new friends, uh, possibly love relationships, possibly business partnerships, uh, possibly healing some relationships in our lives. Um, so this could be coming up. Um, and also, if uh, keep in mind that in the next couple of weeks, if you do have kind of some kind of a chance meeting, um, but for some reason, um, you know, you feel like a deja vu or you feel uh, a connection, um, that, you know, you should definitely act on that. So very uh, wonderful energy for this beautiful uh, lunar eclipse, full moon in Taurus time. I hope everybody does enjoy this magical energy. I hope you do use it to manifest um, your dreams and passions. I'm sending you lots of love and light and healing energy. I hope it reaches you and I hope you're open to receive. Namaste.